Hey, what's going on guys? Girls Hard Drive here, 163, down by the Rio Grande. I'm going to try to cover a couple of different things here as fast as I can, so I might talk a little fast this time. i got a couple of ideas. 655. A gentleman, young gentleman out of the volunteer state, PMs me and we talk. He's like, hey, Hard Drive, on this big radio, I realized I could talk just as far as, or as far as I need to talk, with the power all the way down. I don't really need it no more. Well, mind you, this gentleman, he's got the coax. He, everything's installed right. He works with electricity. He knows what's up. He's pretty cool at it. Handshake there, bud. <clears throat> this is it. Okay, then I'm going to pop one straight out of the box. We're going to hook it up real quick. All right? Let's see how it performs. Mad Max. Radio. We don't have to do the fakery around here. Right. It's wide open on the power, all the way down. Wide open. This is good at 30 kilohertz. That's picture perfect. That's beautiful. Turn this down a little bit. I gotta have the air conditioner on today. It's kind of warm in here. All right, beautiful. Let's take a look at it. Go so down a couple watts. That's what we got. Full power. Perfect. Continuous. Yes, sir, and ma'am. Alright, so now, let's take a look at this at uh, 10 megahertz, expanding the direction. This is where you really want to look at a MOSFET radio. Normally, you'll find the IMD at a lower frequency. Let's take a look at it at 20. This is why I always show you at 30. And also, well here, hold on. I'm not sure if it'll focus. Yeah, cool, huh? Yeah, it's beautiful. Count the graticule, count the grads. Nice wave. All right, now let's ease on over here a little bit. Now let's uh, do a slow sweep on this so we can accurately check the sound quality, if this radio is like uh, high fidelity or not. And by the way, look up the word high fidelity. Not picking on anybody. Different people may have a different meaning for high fidelity, but the true meaning of high fidelity is the uh, reproduction of the original signal with the least amount of distortion. So considering we're set on high, so let's go up high. Let's look at everything though. Let me make this a little smaller. Let me turn this down so you can see it. Let's look for any form of distortion. Now let's go, well, if I go in closer, you can't see the frequency. That's going to be relevant. Now let's just do it the way we were doing it. There's a timeout. And this thing is cool. Real cool. That's uh, like 25, 27. Looks perfect. Now I have this one set at 4500, 4.5K at 50% modulation, intentionally. Okay. There has to be a taper. 
I'd say that's it. Okay. And of course, you know, NIST traceable certification and calibration. The stickers are on it. Not, not just some sticker on the front. It's the stickers on the back. That's the important thing. If you ever see test equipment and they don't have a certification calibration or they claim that they do, they better show it. Or again, you're getting fakery. Copy? Alright, so now we'll see a little bit more of the tape. Six. Now let's drop it down. We're down to 315. Now let's take a look at this wave and see how distorted it is. Yeah, it's pretty decent, down to 169. And right now we're going down to like 130. That's pretty damn low for voice communication. The microphone that you use, etc., will contour that also. So there's a lot of variables involved in this, but this is what the radio does. Okay. Notice there's no unusual pinching. In other words, it's flat. The continuous power all the way through. All right. Bring it up to about 1K again. Do an awesome job. Wide open. Yes, I've been hammering on it. Not abusing it. But let's see if there's going to be any fade to it now. A watt or two. The radio stroking. I would still run it halfway on the power straight up and down, on um, down. That's like a 955 out of the box. But these are much cleaner and will run much cooler. Okay. There we go. Awesome. Alright. Let's uh, pull this off. Even though I'm, I might switch over to this mic to the equipment permanently and this one goes through all the equipment talk straight on three but there we go seven eight nine time breaker 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 audio one two three four five six turn this down all the way and uh, that's just the speaker and my ranger up on top up here seven eight nine ten break 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 crystal clear yes sir one two of echo three four five Six, seven, it might squeal if I turn it up a little bit, but there it is. Seven, eight, nine, ten, break, break, kill the echo completely. And that's this thing right here. Seven, eight, nine, ten, breaker, breaker. All oh, right in front of you. Ain't that cool? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, break. All right, so now let me get this out of the way real quick. How many minutes are we in? Eight. This in a safe place. Uh, do this. I did a video on what you guys can do yourselves and what mic you can use. But that's what you're going to get. And it's going to be a lot like this one. So we're going to show you what one of these actually does. This one, I think Georgia. I'm really liking the 655s, these newer versions, they're doing an awesome job. Now, some people will say, and do they have bleed over issues? The radio doesn't. What you'll find is that if you live in one little area somewhere in the United States, and you have certain CB chop shops around where you live, and they're butchering radios, then it's them, it's not the radio, it's the butcher shops, okay? has nothing to do with the radio. Of course, the comprehensive alignment and tune 
and a little bit more it does help to reject. Okay, Let this one open real quick. I am going to take you off camera momentarily. I'll be back. Hold on. bottom lid so it doesn't get scratched. I'm going to put a link of a video of myself on one of these radios or a 955. It really doesn't matter when I'm done with the tune. We're all about the same. At the end of this video. Expecting before I ever fire them up. We do have a couple of spread coils. Alright. Power on this one is set a lot lower than the other one was actually set. So, let's take a look at it. Not bad, but again, the coils are spread apart. Let's see. working on this stuff over here.
Not bad. Right, so we're in the ballpark. So that is, again, that's with the factory regulator. And that's decent. Okay. Get you up in here. See, that's just the watts part of the signal. That's a very small part of it. Let's take a look at the important part. It leaves wide open. Let's see it over here. So let's uh, drop it down. Drops off fairly quick. Okay. As you can see. Now we'll go to the higher side of it. And we're showing 2.2. Still reasonably clean. for any imperfections because these imperfections not only generate a massive amount of heat in the radio they'll generate a massive amount of heat in your amplifier also you don't want anything 10 or 20 megahertz above and below your center or fundamental frequency let alone the splatter so that's 1.5 now when we get right at 2.5, as you can see, it's really dropping off. 2.7 is at 50% modulation. Let's take a look at 3. See it? It's right around 50%. And as we go up to around 37, 39, 4, it's almost flat as a pancake. But yet it's still decent. Okay? There's no distortion. Now if we if I would input the voltages and take all the measurements and do an actual arithmetic mean calculation, we could pretty much get the, the mean power. And is it much warmer? Yes, it's already warmer with this tip 36 than what it would have been with the uh, Maxima. But it's still doing a great job. It's a radio out of the box. This one's doing a lot less. I was surprised that it didn't care to do it. have a dead key of 20. The other one did. The gate voltages are close. Every little bit does make a difference. But uh, it's doing okay. So if we notice the most important part of speech is like missing. Now let's take a listen to this radio. So when you can't sweep it like this, it's very hard to determine where the flaws are. There's 2.3. Okay again, and we got what? 18 minutes in. Wide open power. It's fading a little bit, but not bad. Getting warm, it's not bad. Now let's see what it sounds like. And looks like. Audio. The S's are missing. The T's are almost gone, but that's okay. Right, let's turn the echo on. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn this back down. Audio 7891 tail. 5, 5, 5, 5. There's the echo. I'll turn the volume up. Well, that's if I got the volume up louder on my Ranger than I had on the other radio, much louder. That's almost like that's a little over three quarters. One, two, three, four, five. Real loud. Alright. See the volume right there? So the watts aren't just everything. 
and it's the signal and how the signal is modulated in the frequency bandwidth. Audio 789 tower, 1, 2, 3, 4. Turn it back up again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There's a little bit of echo. Otherwise, these things really sound muddy. They sound awesome up close. They do. But that frequency response gets lost in the noise. You've got a bunch of noise at so many dB or like on your meter, so many pounds. When that person drives away from you, their signal's up here, but their signal starts getting weaker. Then their signal is below the noise floor, or this threshold of noise, and you can't hear them no more. So let me try, let me try to do a switcheroonie here real quick. All right, there's this radio right here. Not going down nothing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven. Let me get my bass in there. See it right there? Four, five, six, seven. Audio. So let's just disconnect this. Leave it there. Grab this one, the one we just showed you. We won't touch the Ranger. Audio 79 to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, breaker, breaker, breaker. That should be real, real obvious. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Break, break, break. And the receive, the receive is, I've already done the receive on this one, Mr. Tennessee. This one here is still going to get done. A bunch more to get done. Hope some of this was educational. That's what you can see. If there's no calibration to the stuff, then when they go to tune in the line, it's, it's all jacked up. Stay tuned in. You know who it is. Click, click, click.